to sit down at the negotiating table. To talk more about today's meeting with uh, President Abbas and President Putin, Hilal Hassan is a professor in political studies at the American University of Beirut. He joins us from Jacksonville in Florida. Hello to you. Thanks for your time on France 24. Uh, is it fair to say that today's meeting is about showing a willingness, if you will, on all sides to hold a new peace conference between Israel and the Palestinians? Uh, absolutely. As you know, uh Trump is interested in creating uh, an alliance against uh, Iran that will have to include Israel. And uh, Arabs, especially Gulf Arabs, will not be capable of joining such an alliance unless something uh, happens with regard to the Palestinian question. Therefore, in order for them to admit Israel in such an alliance, Trump has to do something about the Palestinian question. At first, Donald Trump seemed, um, how can we say, ambivalent when it came to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He now seems to be a bit clearer about wanting a two-state solution. Is it, as you're saying, purely about uh, an alliance against Iran? Well, we need to distinguish between uh, a, ca a candidate and a president. A candidate has an agenda and seeks to uh, garner as much support as possible. Now that he has become president, he has to be more responsible and he has to understand and act upon the nuances of the Middle East. Now, we are seeing Russia get on board with this. Of course, there were the talks today in the uh, city of uh, Sochi. Why is Russia getting on board and why now? Well, you know, Russia has always been keen on engaging the U.S., uh, Obama was unwilling to engage uh, uh, Russia, especially after the events in the Crimea and uh, the Ukraine. Now that with the arrival of Trump, Trump seems to be more than willing to engage the Russians, and the Russians certainly want to seize the opportunity. Now, Trump announced today that he would again meet with Abbas. So that's when he makes his first overseas visit later in May to Saudi Arabia, Israel and the uh, Vatican. Things appear to be going in the right direction. But, of course, a lot of work uh, needs to be done. Well, needless to say, a lot of work has to be done. And we need to remember that engaging the Israelis in diplomacy when it comes to the question of the West Bank is not an easy matter for them. The Israelis, as much as it is for the Palestinians, this is a matter of high principle. And it is difficult to hit new ground when you have two, two, uh, two polar entities uh, debating over the same piece of land. OK, Hilal Hassan, you're a professor in political studies at the American University of Beirut. Thank you for speaking to France 24. Bye.